We're going to do Mr. Jones. Are all you folks over here on the Lang Amendment? All right, so we'll do Mr. Jones, Mr. Silberdick, Ms. Latimer, Mr. Bridal, and then we'll close out with um, Mr. Lang, and we'll, we'll take a vote I'm on Mr. Lang. There. May I go in after Mr. Bridal? Uh, I, let's I'll just let's follow that order, and, and we'll take a vote on the Lang Amendment. Go ahead, Mr. Jones. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. We were just blessed with a God coming down from heaven, or at least that's what he proclaimed. But uh, I am to the Lang Amendment. Let's the order speaking as I stood in line, and I observed that the prior speaker pointed out that he had no clue what the costs were. And that's a quote. No clue what gasoline costs would be. And somehow, having no clue, he knows this number is wrong. I don't get that. This amendment, Mr. Lang's amendment, is essentially, in fact, nothing more than a return of the Board of Selectmen's proposed amendment, uh, proposed uh, budget. If you look, and you can go online and you can look at the October 6th Board of Selectmen's meeting, when you heard uh, Selectman Griffin saying that he had little faith that this budget would pass. That's a quote, little faith that this budget would pass. And Mr. Waddell, the Selectman Waddell, the man who just came down from heaven, well, he said that uh, it was the Board of Selectmen's obligation, their responsibility, to put together a budget that the voters could pass. That's a quote. Go on the October 6th meeting, look at the video yourself. And they were saying this when they were at that time proposing a $500,000, a budget that was $500,000 less than it is that this amendment reflects. So. If you want to pass this amendment and ensure that the default budget gets passed, then go ahead and vote for this. But if you want to get this thing tightened down a little bit, well, maybe you want to vote no. You should consider that the budget committee, while well, the process is flawed, it's less flawed than it was last year. We've made significant improvements. And we're going to make more improvements next year, I hope. We're certainly working in that end. But it is a political body, and like any other, the process is never perfect, and it was a lot of compromise, and from my point of view, the budget proposal from the budget committee was a compromise. I, should have, I thought it should have been much, much less, as I said, at the budget committee. But in the spirit of compromise, I voted in favor of that. And now we're seeing that compromise uh, basically being floated down the river uh, on some clueless God coming down from heaven. Jones.